You can see. <laughs> it looks, bite looks like it's fine all when you look at it at the beginning, right? Like when you look at it the side. But. The tire's kind of to the side. Yeah. The tire's to the that, side. my friend, is a problem. That will create some issues. Yes. You want me to tell them what happened? Yeah. All right, so what happened? Last time we were on the motocross track, yes. you I failed. I couldn't get my bike up, and I was under the bike. I couldn't get the bike up, and then, so I couldn't get out. Well, and then somebody jumped on top of my bike. Right. And then the back tire broke off. Yeah. So you got it. He fell. He was in a blind spot on one of the jumps. Kid comes jumping over. Couldn't see him. And luckily... He landed on his bike. His shock got bent up a little bit. The little swing arms bent up a little bit. So that's what we got to fix out here. And I got a shock on right here. Yeah. So we got all the new parts. Yeah. There's this swing arm. I got two new shocks. We don't need a tire. No. Hopefully we can fix that real quick because I have to work on tackle. Here's the problem. In addition to the swing arm and everything being bent, we also have a bad rim. Tires warp. I don't know if you can see it. Alright, we gotta go order this rim. We're trying to get settled back in. Got a bunch of new stuff here at the house. A lot of boxes, a lot of cleanup to do. The typical stuff that I have to do when I get back home from a tournament. I've been catching up on emails, been doing Editing some videos for you guys today, too. I got a brand new straight up fishing episode. This is about to drop. Also, got well, there's like three videos, three of my what I call big videos that are about to drop. We got straight up fishing that's gonna drop. You like that drop? Everybody says videos are gonna drop. I don't know if they like come down out of the sky. It's kind of weird we say drop because we upload and we say they're gonna drop. Anyway, they're coming out. Two straight up fishing videos I've done while I was there at the Toho event. I stayed a couple extra days and did some filming on some lakes right there in the Orlando area and the surrounding town, city, country, whatever you want to say. So, uh, yeah, I'll show you a little peek at a couple of things we got coming down the pipe right here. So the other thing that I have going is I'm also, um, what am I doing? I'm also, I forgot what I was about to tell you. Oh, I'm doing videos for Mystery Tackle Box. I forgot my mind slipped me there for, for a little bit. You guys know, I've, you've seen me do, you've seen me do stuff for Mystery Tackle Box in the past where I just open up a box, show you what's in it. Maybe sometimes we go out and fish. Well, I also do videos for Mystery Tackle Box. And one of the videos that we did when I stayed after the event at Toho, was for Mystery Tackle Box. So tune in to their channel. Tune in. I think I said tune in. Tune in to their channel. And you'll see me fishing with one of my best friends ever, Clay Batson, at Lake Jackson in Florida. You know, you gotta get a picture now. That screw lock to have somewhere to. to, to <laughs> Way more booty. I am. We had a blast, man. We had we Clay and I always talk a bunch of junk when we fish together, and the smack talk was real this time. So check that out. That's going to be coming out on not on my channel, but on Mystery Tackle Box's uh, YouTube channel. If you haven't already subscribed to that. The purpose of this video is to talk a little bit about what happened at the Toho Kissimmee chain. Florida has always given me a lot of trouble in the past. And the weird thing about Florida is I actually love fishing there. So thank you guys for number one, for the guys that came out 
that live in the surrounding Orlando area came out to the event. I really appreciate you guys coming out to the event. We love having you there. The anglers love having you there. FLW loves having you there. So um, if you came out, make sure you post in the comment section of this video. I want to know who you guys are. I meet a lot of people and sometimes I'm not always good about remembering your names and all. So post a comment in this uh this uh, description box or comment section if you were at the Toho Kissimmee event. One of the best events I've ever had in Florida. Had a lot of really fun catches, made the top 30 cut, did my points really well, and we're on our way to making that Forest Wood Cup, which is the goal for this year is to make the Forest Wood Cup. So I'm really proud of that uh, that week. It was really good. Things came together really well because they were not going that good in practice if you watch the practice video. So. I'll put the link in the description box of my event there, the first two days, and also had a day three video as well. I'll put that in the description box of this video, just in case you did not get to watch that video on YouTube. Well, now you can. You have no excuse. I want you to watch it because not everybody watched it. I've got like 30-something thousand subscribers, and then 30,000 people didn't watch it. That's a problem. So if you didn't watch it, you're watching this video, go check that out. A lot of stuff so all these boxes are new everything that came in while I was at the Toho Kissimmee chain fishing all right so this is what I've got a whole bunch of boxes we use like dude what are these what kind of lures are these well these are actually not lures this is a product I've been using like for a while now it's a company called Duke Cannon that's right Duke like the school Duke like Zion Williamson Duke Cannon and they make like men's hygiene products and they gave me some stuff a couple months ago maybe right before christmas or this fall and dude this stuff's legit totally legit they make soaps beard balms lip balms everything to keep you looking fresh so your wife wants to fool with you when you get home probably shouldn't have said that they make everything that a man needs to be clean that's what i should have said so uh, but yeah, really cool products. This is what I like about it. You know, I like to be clean, but at the same time, Suave makes me f smell like a flower boy. I don't want to say, I don't want to smell like a flower boy. Um, this stuff smells like manly products. Smells really good. Does it smell like motor oil? No. Does it smell like motor oil? Does it smell like two-stroke smoke? But it has a real cool manly smell to it. So couple of my favorite products when you go to the Duke Cannon website I'm gonna tell you the couple of ones that I've used personally that I really really like this is the heavy-duty hand soap you guys saw at the beginning of this video I'm always working on my son's dirt bikes and this heavy-duty hand soap dude when I come in and I've got like grease on my hands in my palms on the back of them under my fingernails I take this heavy-duty hand soap it takes all of that grease grit and grime right out of your fingers so you're not looking like you know just like some crazy mechanic all the time probably shouldn't have said that either you don't look like your hands are dirty all the time it takes all the grease out of your hands that's really all i had to say i always got to go too far there fresh cut pond give me one second fresh cut pine you see i already opened this one up it smells literally like fresh cut pine this is their lip balm right here so check out the lip balm it's big Wish I had one to compare it to. It probably doesn't do it justice here. You always feel weird putting on lip balm. I always do. Something from Amazon. This one. Um, you know, I'm not even sure what's in this box. Let's see what's in this one. I'm not sure yet. Okay. Dude, so been needing this. Let me show you this. You gotta do the Scott Martin on you. Bam! Line, fishing line. If you're going to be a fisherman, fishing line is going to be one of the things you need. So, Seaguar has hooked me up with everything that I need. Here's some finesse fluorocarbon. Uh, this is some Tatsu 12 pound line. The new, let me get it in focus here. Seaguar Red Label. If you're looking for fluorocarbon and you're looking for somewhere to start, there you go. Seaguar Red Label is the one for you to have. That crap right there, this right here, it don't break. That don't break, my friend. Real quick, appreciate you guys uh, watching all the vlogs, doing all the support. Hey, go check out all these guys in the description box. Appreciate you tuning into this video. Next week, we'll leave for Seminole. 
That's where the next FLW Tour event is. Been there quite a few times. Yes, your boys are pretty excited about them. So, see you guys this Sunday, 9 o'clock. Don't forget, straight up fishing. You want to see it. Thank you.